Oh, hey there. I'm Steve from RC Dads. Um, I've just been working on a new project right here. This is the uh, Dirty Dan. It's my newest uh, airplane design. And I've been working, I've spent a couple of months here trying to figure out how to get uh, a KK2 board uh, reconfigured. And I've got uh, Ramsby uh, OSD connected in here with GPS. This thing is fully loaded right now. And I know a lot of these things that are in here are older um, styles of, you know, the uh, the stabilization and stuff like that. But this, I needed to know how to make all this stuff work. So I figured this is the best way to do it. So I do have my stabilizations working. You can see as I turn this side by side, you can see there the uh, ailerons go up and down. So that's trying to fight it from uh, you know wind and stuff like that. It really does a, a wonderful job, even up and down. It does the whole thing. So um, one thing I do have is the gimbal on the front. Now the GoPro is a little bit heavy for this gimbal I have set up, and I will have a different camera on here. But uh, as you can see on the on screen, it works pretty well. It's not bad. And I can also make it go up and down. So this, this works for what it is right now. Um, on the on-screen display, you can see on the computer right there, what I've done is I've actually ran it through my uh, headgear. So I've got it uh, jumped through the headgear, the, the transmitter, and uh, ran through the computer. So we're gonna be using this computer out in the field to, to get all, I've got all my on-screen display on it and everything. Um, I'm excited about doing that. So looking at the on-screen display on the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the camera. It, that would be my uh, GoPro. So it's actually showing my GoPro on the right-hand upper corner. You'll see the, the battery signal. Then as you go down, you'll see um, a little house with a, with, with a number there. That's actually how far away I am. So I'm really close. It's not exact right now because I'm not in a field situation, but that's telling me how close I am to my actual uh, uh, transmitter and everything. And then you come down on the left hand side, I'll have my speedometer, I'll have um, uh, all the way down at the bottom is, is my uh, signal strength. Then you come over to the center and that's my, my, uh, that is my compass. Then over to the right hand side, that is my time that I've, I've been up in the air. And then uh, right center, that is my altitude. Very important to have your altitude height. You can't go over 400 feet, so I actually have that set with an alarm. And then you come up to the, uh, the, the, the right hand side, all the way up there, you, you have the different uh, battery signals. And in the center, now there's an arrow up on the top on the center. That arrow is actually shows me how to come home. So that will, that will bring me all the way back to my uh, transmitter. And the little underneath uh, with a narrow, right there in the center is, is telling me my climb rates up and down. So these are all really important to have when you're up in the air so you know what you're doing and where you're going. The other thing is um, right now I've got this set up. I've got the linear uh, antenna on here. I probably won't keep the linear antenna on there because it, it just, every time the airplane turns, you kind of get a lot of static and you lose signal there for a couple seconds. Not a good thing when you're up in the air and you're a beginner like me trying to do this. Um, so I, I will definitely upgrade on the antenna on this. Okay, so when you're doing any kind of connections, of course you're gonna need a cable with a USB to go from your, your boards to your computer. Yeah, you have to have a USB for that. Um, so this right here is for the KK2 board. I'm using Open Arrow is the program that I used to, uh, to make this happen on an airplane. Of course, you know, a KK2 board is used mostly for quadcopters and tricopters and all that stuff. Um, so it's kind of cool to know that this all works. The other thing is, uh, again, the OSD, you will have to have a cable. You'll disconnect the GPS, plug this into the GPS port, and then this is a USB will go into your computer. So, and there is programs for everything when you're doing this to figure out, like all of this on-screen display can be moved around, it can be changed around, you can do anything you want with this stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's, you could set up 
you know, so that uh, you have alarms. If your battery goes low, alarm will flash um, in all different directions. So it, it's really, really neat, neat setup. I think that's just about everything. I will have some other videos up that'll show more in depth of how to do some of these items and how to set them up. But um, I guess uh, once we get past winter and a little bit warmer weather, we'll take this up and uh, try it out. So, and I know this is flown already, so I know we're in good shape with that. Um, so that's it. I'm Steve from RC Dads. Thanks for watching.